beautiful. But, uh, you know, coming up against Zane here, who's just a, just a king of the game at this point, yep. um, always feels like the guy to beat in 2022. I mean, you know, he's had some hiccups, right? He dropped uh, Battle of DC to uh, Leppin. You know, he went out of, I think, fifth place at um, Summit to Jama. But, like, yeah. still, I mean, you know, they're still sitting in first seat for a reason. And it's because when he wins, uh, I mean, it looks like there's nothing you can do. Yeah. I mean, it's funny that we, we, we say that it's a, it's like a hiccup, right? Because he still got, like, second. He still got, like, fifth. These are not, like, oh. bad placings by any means. But we just have such high expectations for Zane at this point. Right, right. I mean, just to, just to speak to his character. Mm -hmm. Moki there, unfortunately, got the uh, the neutral B instead of the down B. I went for, went for a shine spike offstage and got laser, which is super unfortunate. That is unfortunate. And Zane is the kind of guy that's going to take that to the bank. Ooh, a couple unfortunate. That really unfortunate start here for Moki. But yeah. I, I like that he takes a moment in the in, on the Angel platform there just to compose himself. Right. There's a lot of melee left to be played. Great shine there. Ooh. Oh, does Ooh. it? Yeah, I mean, honestly, you know, that's a shine spike that's not so hard to hit, but Stadium makes it a little tricky because you can't see down below that ledge just because of the visuals on the stage, right? Yeah, and I think even that jump was a little bit mistimed for Moki there. I think that's oh a, a back air that he goodness. usually hits. And Zane, yeah, just... A little flub there from Moki, and Zane takes oh, it to the bank. No. Oh, no. Vish, are we starting it off with that dirty Quattro? Oh, man. Oh, the, oh, the tech chase. Oh, oh the down air? Excuse me? The, oh, he went, oh, no, no, he's no, 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 him no, up. no, 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 Okay, <laughs> Zane, that, first of all, that's disrespectful. <laughs> Second of all, isn't this guy your friend? <laughs> Not a tournament. Oh, all right, we start with the JV, JV Quattro. I mean, you can't make mistakes against this guy, right? No, that's like, the you thing. Can't. Because every mistake you make is a stock. Against so. Zane, yeah. Against Zane, <laughs> truly, truly it is. As a spacey against Zane. I mean, Moki is one of the best players in the building, one of the best players in the world, and arguably the best player in Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, and Zane just made him look like mincemeat. Yeah, granted, I think Moki had like a real uh, shaky start yeah. there. So I think, I think it's not super indicative of how the set will go. Yeah, I do think he'll tighten it up, but at the same time, I do think it's... Oh, oh my god, weird okay. fan of shine yeah. on, uh, on, on Moki's part. Real wow. weird fan of shine, okay. Oh, oh, man! So close to getting a crazy confirm there. Yeah. Oh, that was really nice coverage from Zane to use the forward tilt, uh, forward tilt um, anticipating that Moki was going to do the side B edge cancel there. Mm -hmm. Ah, man. Whoa, okay. Uh, the DI there a little bit. Okay, and there's the rising up air. Mm -hmm. And Moki taking the first stock this game too. Still looks like he's kind of picking up the pieces a little bit. That's probably just going to be a spike. Yep. Ooh. Oh, be very careful around the ledge there. Okay. That, that was a good recovery though, the way he jumped back onto ledge without getting hit by the down tilt. That was nice. Here's the Zane combo. Mm. Ah, oh, man. Moki's just slightly off on some of these openings that he's getting oh. here. Wow. And that was a DI mix up and a half. It was. Because normally you're expecting like maybe forward air dare, right? Yeah. In, in that position. That's why you saw him just DI super hard uh, to the right. And he was honestly not at that high of a percent. No. But if you DI that up the out, you are dead. Mm hmm. Okay. Wow. Again, playing around the slide off. Slide off. Yeah, he knows, he knows the counterplay and he is going to bait it out. Yeah, Zane's playing lights out right now. Oh, jeez, he really went for a downer to cut. Oh, my goodness. Zane get a little creative. Oh, no. Yeah, that up air. I mean, you're not getting that second hit. There it is. I like the way that Zane holds his controller up as he's about to smash the eye of the up air. Do Honestly, you see that? Honestly, style. That's right. what h has been doing for a long time. Maybe Take. he's osmosing the beast. <laughs> he's Take. starting to steal his secrets. Taking a little bit he's from all of He's becoming complete. <laughs> The next Infinity Stone. Oh, no. Whoa. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to say up smash was probably a mistake from Zane. <laughs> Not really seen up smash out of shield as an intentional option. This could be uh, yeah, that almost was a tipper. Up there was a little oh. slow on that one. There Second and only. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there is one chance for Moki to even this up 1-1, one, one, but I don't think Zane is going to give him more than one. Yeah, Zane going oh. right to center stage because he knows what the win condition here is for Moki. <sighs> one more chance for Moki here. Goes high. Whoa! I like the up B so that, you know, he doesn't get, he doesn't just fall right into the neutral B, but yeah, that'll do it. 2-0 wow. right now from Zane. 
insane. Just um, Moki's starting to pick it up, though. He is, and I think that it's. I mean, it's tough because Moki is playing better, but at the same time. Even though he's kind of giving Zane these challenging situations, these interactions that are actually pretty tricky to deal with, mm -hmm. Zane's just seen it all. Yeah. You know, his, his preparedness, his reflexes are so good. Oh, uh, that was wow. a great you slide off. You need, more, you need more stuff like that. You really got to get tricky. Mm -hmm. You got to get a little kooky on this guy or he is... Yeah, there Ooh. you go. There you go. Okay, okay. I like these slide offs from Moki. Yeah, you're seeing Zane. Um, he's trying to do the latest possible up air to mitigate the slide off. Right. Um, but, uh, yeah, Moki is able to still get that fastball uh, forward air. Wow. Oh, Ooh. my God. I think maybe, you know, honestly, I think maybe up smash. Yeah, maybe. I like the way that he fell. Oh, oh the cloud a little bit off there, yeah? Yeah. It looked like maybe he also had time to go to ledge there. Um, but it's one of those positions where maybe you had a couple options and don't quite get either. Oh, that is scary. Okay. Uh, Randall, honestly... Might have uh, helped Moki out a little bit there because Zane couldn't grab the ledge when he wanted to. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is a big descending up air. Oh my goodness, Zane. Good DI on the down air though. Um, just far enough. Oh, oh dude, these er these upbeat um, DI mix have been so good because I think that one in particular really punished the ability of Moki trying to slide off, I want to say. Um, potentially, so it just made him go in such a weird trajectory. Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty bonkers. Like, I don't think Moki. Um, oh, 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 he's oh, doing something oh, with his flight the shield. Stage. Oh no! Oh my oh, god! Man. Without cracking a smile. That's right. Okay, hang on. Moki with the lead. Maybe that. Maybe that's what he needed. A little bit of a power up there. Some people perform better after you know that kind of. That's right. You remember that song, uh, "Jerk It Out." One of my favorite songs, I just uh, song, unrelated. It's, it's unrelated. And unrelated. It's strange that you bring that up. Yes. All right, we got last knock on Zane. Oh, don't get the side view from Zane. He's ready for that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, he didn't let him land. Upbeat. Oh. I thought he was gonna down smash. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Okay. Got wait a, a minute. Combo too. Honestly, a little bit of a pew pew special there. The DIN on the fourth row and the forward smash tipper. And here we go, last knock. Can Moki get on the board? Oh, the, the Shy Guy down ah, out there. Forward probably not what he wanted. Oh. Where are you going, Zane? That was so close, Zane. Fast one to the ledge. Hang oh. on a minute. Oh, okay, goes into upbeat. Oh, oh that is a huge nair. What's it going to be? The Shy not connecting. Hang ah, on. He gets ah, ah. Oh, Zane. He doesn't get the tipper hitbox on the down air. Moki gets another chance at life here. Yeah, he gets a little chance there. You can see Moki also shaking his head. He's like, man, okay, you know what? I'll I mean, take it. You don't it. want to win like <laughs> you that. Don't you to, don't but... want that to be your win condition because Zane is not going to give you another one of those games. I would say that is a pretty rare, um, <laughs> a rare way for Zane to drop a game there. But now we've got the real final boss stage. It's Zane on final destination. And you know once he grabs, Ooh. it's going to be lights out. Moki needs to get some damage off his grabs. I got to say, though, the Foxes in uh, this particular matchup on this stage have really been fleshing out the combo game. So I'm curious to see how Moki does it. Yeah, definitely I think Foxes have stepped it up. I mean, you know, Mango even famously saying that he thinks Fox might even win here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but of course, there's a lot of... Uh, there are a lot of things you need to be doing correctly uh, to kind of make that happen. And, and Zane is, at the end of the day, it's going to still be a comfort pick for him. So, yeah. I'll throw Nair. Yeah, I mean, that's just going to be a two-hit, two-piece combo there. Sometimes that's what you want to do as Fox, though. You know, like two-piece combo, reset, just... It, oh, oh, no! no. Oh, and that... Yeah. Oh, and no tech, too, oh. either. Oh. That is tough. That is real tough. Oh, okay, not getting the up air there, too. Okay, Whoa. okay. <laughs> yeah, he was too close to the lens. The wave dash actually sent him off stage, turned into an SD of an air dodge. Mm. That's a big grab from Zane. Oh, wow, great reactions from Zane. He's going to keep this one going. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. just the way that the up tilt sent off stage, I thought maybe forward smash or a down air was coming, but Zane opts to go for a, an up tilt. Dude, these, these up Bs up have been, been the, phenomenal. Yeah, it's been the move of the set, and I think if you're watching this and you're getting ready for Zane, you gotta you got to account for that now. you got to say, mm. and that, yeah, Moki's had enough. Yeah, Moki's had enough. But that's that's the kind of thing where I mean we haven't seen Zane been this uppy happy probably ever in a yeah. spacey set. I'm looking at that if I'm Cody and I'm saying, well, okay, if I have to play Zane at any point tomorrow, if I'm Mango, watch out for those mid watch percents. Watch out for those at, 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 at around mid eighty. I mean, yeah, they delete you. Yeah, and, and on a stage like Yoshi's, it was like 60, 70 percent oh. that netted the stock. Really, really brutal uh, KO move there, Zane. I mean, I think that 
uh, triumphing over Moki. Not in the most, um, you know, there were some some hiccups, I think, on Moki's end, a little bit unfortunate, but uh, Zane looking composed throughout. And I think yeah. that Moki is definitely the kind of player who, he's tricky, right? And um, uh, honestly, I think that just showed what a world-class competitor Zane is because even in the moments where I was like, okay, this is, this is a... This is the spot where it's actually pretty tough for Marth. You know, he might not have a double jump, might not have the side Vs on lock. Um, but Zane played up, played off of those. I mean, let's let's take a look at some of the replays here and see if we can identify what really made Zane shine in that set. Look at this. Oof. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This is how it started Almost out, right? The it's, third. Wow. Yeah, it started out with the JV4 here. Yeah, and this was nutty. Of course, I mean, Yoshi's story, the kind of stage, can be very good for Fox but also the kind of stage where you are going to get KO'd off those side blast zones at pretty low percents. Ah, man, that up B was just so big. There, those are some really nice slide-offs on the, the game that Moki won. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh. It made sense. I mean, even looking at it back, even seeing it oh, for here, a second we'll see time it again. and a third time. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit too close uh, to the Fox there. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. This is a toughie. This is a toughie. Oh, oh, dude, those upbeats are actually so crazy to see. Oh, my. Yeah, you never expect that there, right? Mm -hmm. You're expecting a re-grab or a forward air or some kind of move that's going to set up for more combo action. Yeah. But Zane just cuts it short. That is a tough way to go out for Moki. He's going to have another chance in the loser's bracket. Zane is going to be done for the day. He's going to be facing the winner of J-Mook and Josh Man. That's right, man. Josh Man has been really fun uh, to watch throughout this entire tournament, and also just during his stay here in um, America. It That's feels like he's... Uh, sorry, can't, uh, North, America, North, North America. America. Sorry, North America. North America, sorry. <laughs> yeah, just his stay here in North America has been really nice to watch because it feels like there's been a level up that you can kind of see, you know? Yeah. It, it, like, he's been in SoCal. He's been entering a lot of, like, the... The newer mangs, I think it's called. Yeah. Uh, the the New weeklies Norm, that mang. yeah the, the the weeklies that happen there, and he's going like toe to toe with S2J in a lot of these sets, taking a set off to here and there. I think he's taking one set off, uh, beating like Kadoran, beating Null. So you can see like the progression, right? I yeah I I I, I think that when Sora, uh, I guess he goes more by Josh Man. Josh now. Man now, yeah. Well, he, when he first showed up and he was at the previous Smash Summit, you know, I felt like his. The skill level was obviously there. Like, it was like, wow, this guy's good. We could tell off the bat. Um, but he definitely had some of that decision-making where you kind of felt like this guy is definitely the best player where he comes from. Oh, yeah, number, um, number one in Australia. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, right? And, and, and he had this kind of style where he would take these risks, um, and we saw them pay off. 